I joined a car club when I was 14. I didn't even have a car. And uh, that was funny. Uh, went to the speed shop. My mom took me there, dumped me out. And went in, all these guys in the speed shop, you know, all of them hot rodders. Here I am, 14, maybe 13, I don't know. And at that point, you know, I mean, I was probably pretty naive, but I feel like, felt like I knew as I'd been building model cars for four or five years. And so I, I figured I knew as much as they did. And one of the guys says, do you, do you have a car? And I said, no, I don't have a car. Do you want to join a car club? You don't have a car? I said, yeah. And they just had a big howl about that. Rods are something you don't see every day. You know, the public doesn't. So to see one for sure in the, in the garage and then to see two and then see somebody building one and stuff like that, it's, pretty, it's a pretty rare event. Probably be good, a little bit better to look at the history of the rat. I think it happened in Germany. I think the guys were getting whatever they could. They were putting it together. They created a kind of culture because they were totally outsiders, didn't have much money. They were able to make a, um, a hot rod and there were quite a few of them. And these parts were or the bodies and frames were a lot of more disregarded by other hot rodders because if the body has so much rust on it, the restoration to try to make that into a shiny, you know, painted complete car would take so much work. It's better not to start with that. It's better to get a better body. Like the one that I had, the 1927, that was in a junkyard over here in La Cunata, and nobody wanted it. It just had way too much rust on it, you know? It was still a complete body. The doors were still good on it. I mean, as far as being hinged and, and so on like that. But it just, you know, it was just totally rusted, almost completely out, you know? Certainly not, not good for rebuilding it into a, you know, a finished painted car. I'm usually pretty excited at the beginning when I get the car or frame or whatever it is in here. I'm actually really excited about it. And then as it goes and this and that, you know, I stay excited about it. I know it's a lot of work. There are times when I know it's difficult and that I, that I don't really feel like working on it, but I don't try to listen to that too much. These things take a lot of time to ever get them really right and, and really the way you want them. They just take lots and lots of time, you know. It's good when you're looking at something and you're trying to figure out how you're going to solve this problem, how you're going to make this work, how you're going to make it stronger, or something like that. Or how you're going to make it where the next guy can actually unbolt something and take it off if he needs to and change it you know, to something else. I suppose another way I could have done it is just weld that on there, that pushing that's already on there. I like building the frames the most. That's what I like doing the most. I don't know why, I just get into it, you know? Because you can do a lot with a frame. Again, I think it relates back to the stance of a car. The stance is, From the impact of the car, the first side of it, I think the stance is, comes off quicker than anything, you know? If the car is built right, the great stance on it, you know, that's a, that's a big plus. If they just look meaner, they look tough, they look strictly business, there's no fluff about it, and uh, they're definitely not trailer queens and, and uh, you know, they're, de they're there to do business, you know? They're there to run fast, you know? That's what they're all about. 
I don't even think about money, you know? Uh, I want what I want. Not that I have all this money to spend, but it's just certain things that I want in a car, and so it's just gonna cost that much money, you know? I believe that what I have, I should be able, be able to use and be using it. And if I'm not using it, then I'm just as soon get rid of it. And I've also gotten rid of clothes and all that crap that I didn't need or wasn't using. Simplify my life. And uh, I basically exist in whatever that is six feet wide, 10 feet long. This is the uh, second or third time I've had it out here to have a somewhat of a look at it. And uh, it's hard to say, you know, try to push it right out on the edge as far as the edge being what looks good and what maybe doesn't look so good. I could push it further and maybe it falls on its face or I could bring it back some and maybe I'll lose some of the spontaneity and the freshness of it. So I grew up on a farm and, you know, when you live on a farm, you're 30 to 50 miles away from the town. And what you do on a farm is if you're out of bolts, you know, you don't go stop what you're doing and drive 50 miles to the town to get bolts. You make do with what you have. That's my approach on these guys too, you know. I'm not gonna stop and go to the hardware store every time I need something or whatever. Uh, you know, the whole idea of like steampunk is that you can see the interior workings of how something is made versus, versus everything like a laptop or whatever that's completely covered, you can't see any of it. Uh, as well as newer cars or whatever. But yeah, the being able to see this stuff, the curves and and uh, the way it's put together is kind of cool. I had my landlady wanting to cut some of the trees out, but my whole deal was to save all the trees because I kind of created a kind of oasis here guys would say, well, you should put a roof on this place or, you know, a kind of uh, uh, carport type roof on it. But I don't want that, you know. I don't, I don't want to work in a garage. I don't want that. I like the blue sky and I like the sunlight and, you know, I don't want to work in a, in a dungeon garage, you know. Some of the younger guys, you know, will say, well, if you need some help with something, I'll help you. Uh, and I say, well, you know, stop by, whatever. If they come back by, some of them I have sort of hired as apprentice, but so far with the exception of the guy I got now, about anywhere from one day of work to maybe two months of work, they're not interested anymore. The work is too hard, and when it's just like doing this this piece that I'm working on a frame right now, it takes a lot of time, and it's sort of, in, in a lot of ways, kind of boring. Even though it doesn't maybe doesn't seem like it, I am real picky about it, about what I'm, I know that it's going to take a year to
to build a car, maybe may longer, and that it's gonna cost quite a lot of money. I think at this point of the game, I'm thinking uh, money. Money right now is the big obstacle to finishing it. Uh, because I put so much work into it, I really want to drive it. You know, we'll figure it out. We'll figure out something. On getting the money we need, even if it just happens a little bit at a time, you know. The deuce is perfect as far as I'm concerned. I could sell it because I've really enjoyed, you know, I've gotten a great deal of enjoyment out of it and it's a great car, but no, I'm not overly attached to it. I like drag racing a lot. Some guys do, some guys don't. But to me, the drag racing is, it's just a lot of fun. That was the first time she came down. Did she say it was filling her space with smoke or something? Maybe we ought to leave. Lots of times when the cops come, if there's nobody around, they don't even make a look for it. Yeah, let's just get, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> We're actually hiding from the police right now, so... Uh, you know, if we take off running, then it's because they're out to get us. Apparently, our car is uh, loud. You think you guys are so cool. <laughs> we got some good burnouts uh, from the deuce. Did you in front of the shop? Right in front of the shop. Strictly professional. And the neighbors just got pissed off. Storm down there. I'll go down there and tell that fucker to shut up. Uh, this is normal, normal stuff. You gotta tune them, you gotta do this. Things don't quite work the way they're supposed to every time. So you gotta do a little tuning on them. A little of this, a little of that. And I will get it, no big deal. I should have dressed up. <laughs>